The federal government suffered a historic loss in Parliament this week, with Labor joining with the Greens and Crossbench to pass the Refugee Medivac Bill. In response, the Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, announced the reopening of the Christmas Island Detention Centre. Deputy Nationals leader Bridget McKenzie has defended the government's position, saying ministers will only reject a medical transfer if the applicant has been sentenced to a serious crime. What the legislation actually says is that if you are sentenced for a serious criminal offence, then we can reject that application. The minister will have discretion in that uh, circumstance. The reality is, though, the sentencing is at the very long end of the criminal justice system. So if you've been charged with rape or sexual assault, if you have been uh, gone to court and been convicted of murder, uh, and not yet, and w awaiting your sentencing, you will still be able to be transferred for medical assessment and treatment under the bill passed by Labor and the Crossbench uh, this week. And that's exactly why our government stood firm for stronger borders. Please don't confuse being able to reject somebody on security grounds. Uh, which comes with an assessment from ASIO, et cetera, and being able to reject uh, someone on uh, the being sentenced to serious uh, criminal uh, uh, matters. They're two different things. Well, the reality, though, that what we've seen in the past and uh, when we saw 50,000 uh, illegal boat arrivals under the last time Labor pursued a humane and strong approach to border protection, uh, we saw 1,200 deaths at sea and $16 billion of taxpayers' money wasted uh, on this effort, that once uh, these people get to our shores, there is an army of uh, lawyers there to run protracted courses court, through the court uh, and ensure that there are ways to ensure that they stay. So I don't have confidence that this bill passed uh, by the crossbench and Labor to weaken our borders will actually result in those people who come for clinical assessment and treatment uh, returning back to detention offshore once that's been completed.